What is good guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Justin and you guys are here with Justin. So it is finally great to be back to do another temporary tattoo review for you guys. In the past we have done stuff where we use an adhesive sticker, toner, or some type of natural extract derived from a plant. And you kind of put it on like a sticker, you take it off and it's there. Today's product that we'll be reviewing is a little different in terms of how you apply it. It is Easy Inks Freehand Tattoo Ink. And why this product is so great I believe is you are now able and you have the freedom to create any type of design that you want. Whether it is a design that you found online or using their new freehand stencil booklet, or maybe you just wanna be imaginative and do something freehand, you are now able to create whatever you want and have the freedom to create an awesome temporary tattoo. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys are new to the channel, I do wanna welcome you. In this channel, we pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related, my experience, opinions on certain topics, but most importantly guys, my journey towards getting amazing real tattoos and working towards an awesome bodysuit. Now go subscribe, join the community. I have some great news. I have booked another poem with my artist, Brandon. He is an amazing artist. He's been killing my leg so far. Now we're gonna start working towards the upper thigh. He's very excited that I'll be going back in the new year. So it's just another great reason to join this community so you don't miss that or any other future content. But let's get to today's video, guys. Let's test out Easy Ink. Let's go. So right off the bat, I do want to thank Easy Ink for sponsoring today's video. They did send me two of the free hand kits. I will be using one for the video, but that means I now have an extra one and I will be doing a giveaway. And all you got to do for this is send me a screenshot to my Instagram that you liked and subscribed to the channel. And then in three weeks to a month, I will choose a winner and I will send you this directly from myself. So go ahead, participate in that. But let's talk about now how I will be reviewing the product like I have done before in other videos and what to expect about this product and a little bit about information on the Easy Ink Freehand Tattoo Ink. So there are gonna be four categories that we're gonna be ranking from one to five. The first category is ease of application. We're gonna see how easy this is applicable to the skin and how easy it is to use. The second one is gonna be durability. They say this product lasts 21 days, three weeks. We're gonna see if it lasts at least two weeks just because that's when you want a temporary tattoo to kind of last and kind of get a good feel for the tattoo to see if you like it or not. The third one is gonna be price and value. We're gonna be seeing if this is worth the price and if it's valuable enough to pay for it. And then finally, we're just going to give it an overall score for general purposes. So now we're going to go over what's in the kit itself. So you're going to find a bunch of different things when you open it. You're going to be right away greeted by the card that has all the steps and everything that you need to do. Then you obviously have the main bottle of the Easy Ink. The next thing you have is you have five different widths. Each one has a different design. We'll go over that soon. Next, you have a stick of deodorant, which is just used for helping on the uh, stencil paper transfer. You obviously have the tracing paper for your freehand and creative designs. And then finally, you have your ballpoint pen, which you can use for drawing. So as you guys see, we have five different needle heads. The numbers right there correspond with the sizing. So red is gonna have the smallest hole, while black has the biggest hole. The next thing you do is you grab the tip, twist, and there you go. You just squeeze, and that is the size of the line. Now I know it doesn't look too much on there, but that's the size of the line for the black. This one's very thin, and this one you can see, super thin so now we're going to talk about why this product is so great and from what they say online about it so the first thing that, that they say is obviously it is 100 percent organic it is a natural fruit based extract from the Geneva americana plant so for anybody out there that is worried or you're not not sure that this is 100 percent organic the next thing that, that they say is it is darker and will have a more realistic look than uh, other kind of things it'll look darker it'll look like a black tattoo i'm kind of interested to see how that works out just because i have tested another product from them before in terms of the kind of the patch sticker one and it had more of a bluish hue to it although it still looked very close to a tattoo you kind of want them to be black and match like a black tattoo like all mine you kind of want to be as uh, close to a tattoo as possible the next thing that they say is that it should last up to 21 days which is three weeks and that's a very long time for a temporary tattoo to last so i'm very interested to see if it'll last at least two weeks. And then they also say it is waterproof, which is great, especially because I feel like this product will be used a lot in summertime for people that are going out to the beach and just wanna try out a temporary tattoo on their body to see if they like it for a permanent kind of choice. And then finally, is the creative freedom you have to just do whatever you want. With other kind of products, you're kind of like stopped by a certain uh, design and you don't have as much freedom in terms of wanting, say, that tattoo that you saw online and you want to test out. So there are a couple tips that I have for you guys when using this product. The representative from Easy Ink did reach out to me and tell me these just to let you guys know as well for the best possible outcome of the product. And the last thing I will want to say is give it a good shake before using. We all know when something sits for some while, 
everything can kind of drop to the bottom and it may not be as good of a product so just want to make give it a good shake before using it get everything moved in there so you can get the best possible product all right guys so now we're going to start off with applying the tattoo ink we're going to first do the hand then we're going to do one on my chest and then we're going to do one on my leg the hand and the chest we're going to be using a stencil from the stencil booklet that they offer this booklet is great it offers many different variations in terms of the designs it has numbers letters so you can definitely be creative and putting something that you want on. And what you do is you rip whatever sticker you want out. Then you put it onto the location that you want to put it on. And then all you got to do is stick it onto the skin, get the freehand ink and draw it in. It's going to hit the skin where it needs to. And that's where it's going to stain and it's going to become darker over time. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to wait a certain amount of time for each area on the body. For my hand, we're going to wait an hour. For my chest, we're going to wait about 20 minutes. And for my leg, we're going to wait about 40 minutes. And we're just going to see in these time spans, in these time frames, if waiting longer does get the tattoo darker. Because I know some people don't want to wait that whole hour or two hours to darken a tattoo. They may only have 20 minutes. So we're going to see if 20 minutes is almost enough for, you know, a good tattoo and a good kind of darkness to get out of it. The, the leg, I'm going to be doing a freehand one just because, you know, I want to change it up. So if you guys do want to do something more imaginative, we'll be using my iPad. We will be using a design from, uh, uh, the internet that I found online. We're going to be putting it into uh, just an app just so the uh, app's just there so you can flip the image vertically. Just so if you have any words and all that, when you put it back onto the body, it's able to be read the right way and it's not upside or opposite like, you know, some people may screw up on. And then once you are done, again, you're going to have a lot left over, especially if you have the big bottle like me. You're going to want to put it back in the freezer, air it out as much as you can, and you're good. Wash the tips and that's it. You guys can use it again. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to come back in a day. We're going to see how it holds up. It's supposed to darken up over time. Within the 24 to 48 hour mark, that's when it should really darken up to its max. So we'll see if it still has this kind of outline and design. And then we'll see the same thing on the hand and the thigh as well. So guys, welcome back. It has been 24 hours after the initial application of the Easy Ink Freehand Ink. And as you guys can see, I have something on my chest, but I'm gonna show you my hand right now and look at how, look how much darker that is. And that is because this was left on for an hour. This was left on for 20 minutes. So as you guys can see the difference in time, what it makes. It still has a little bit of a, like a bluish tone to it in, in the light, but it's very, very dark and what I like to see. But again, if you guys want to do it for like a little short amount of time and you don't have an hour to give to let it sit around and wait around and have it uh, darken, 20 minutes will still give you something, but it's a lot better for the hour as you guys can see. Now, there were a couple things that I want to bring to your attention when doing this and applying this uh, ink. I learned the hard way, but me learning the hard way is the best thing for you because now you guys can know what to watch out for and how to plan ahead so you guys don't have the same kind of outcome and so you guys have the best outcome when using this product. So the first thing I wanna to bring to your attention is if you guys look at the tattoo, there are some faded lines and that is because the stencil that I use right here, as you guys see, there's fine lines in the stencil and this is a sticker, so it needs to stick well to the skin. And if you guys have hair or anything or like you have greasy skin, it's not gonna stick well and that's gonna to lead to the lines lifting off the skin and the ink can seep out from under it and you'll have that outcome where it doesn't stick fully so you guys want to watch out for that you want to make sure you have a great stick to the skin the last one i also have is to make sure that when you are filling it in use the black one which is the biggest needle to fill in the big areas and then go in with the smaller needles like the purple the red and fill in the corners so you don't miss anything and you can get the best kind of fill for that tattoo. Now we're gonna get into leg. I still have yet to do that one. You have to use this kind of deodorant stick looking thing. All you gotta do is apply this to the area that you want. So I'll be applying it on my leg. And then all you do is you apply the stencil that has the drawing already on it with the ink and you apply it and it'll stick where then you're able to go with the free hand and the needle and just draw how you wanna do and your design that you want. And I'll come back in about two weeks and do a final review. So guys, welcome back. It has been more than two weeks since the initial application of the Easy Ink Freehand Ink, and I gotta say, I've been absolutely amazed with the results that I experienced. Now, I do wanna mention again, and thank Easy Ink for sponsoring today's video. They are doing a promotion with me where they are doing any buy two, get a third one for free, or if you buy the Freehand Ink, you will get a free stencil booklet that is not yet available online as a bonus. Now, this does last seven days from the initial publication of this video. The link will be in the description and all things will be uh, applied during checkout. So there are a couple things that I want you guys to take away from this that I took away myself. Make sure that you leave this product on as long as possible. The longer you leave it on, the darker the product will be in the long term. And then also make sure that the area that you apply it to is free of any hair, dirt, grease, grime, anything. You wanna have a good solid stick to that skin. Make sure that you clean the heads of these needles after you're done using them. You don't wanna get them clogged and then they kinda come unusable because then you gotta really go in with like a toothpick and clean it out. So once you were done using them, 
go put them in some hot water with some soap and let them soak for a bit. That should clear them out. And then the last one I have is just enjoy this product and have fun with it. It's meant to be more creative. So definitely have fun in terms of creating your own design and something that you think you might want to get in the future because you can definitely kind of do that with this product. So now let's talk about durability and the rating that I'm going to give it out of five. The first thing I want to mention is it does last a very long time. Now, like I mentioned, I put it on for different amount of times in each area. The chest was 20 minutes, the leg was 40 minutes, and the hand was an hour. And as you guys can see in these pictures, it usually goes to about the day 8 to 10 to 12 mark where it gets really dark and then after that it starts to fade off but it's still very noticeable even after when it starts to fade so you have almost like 15 days where you can really kind of tell if this is a tattoo that you want to get for a permanent or if you just want to have fun with uh, temporary tattoos you know it does last a very long time it is waterproof i had no problems going to the shower i will mention that you know in terms of covid time and the area that i put it on my hand i did abuse it a lot in terms of washing my hands multiple multiple times a day and then also add like you know applying hand sanitizer but even then this still lasted a very long time it lasted almost 17 days so i was super shocked if you leave it on for one to two hours and it's in an area that doesn't get abused like the hands, so maybe like the chest, the back, the leg. I do definitely believe that this product can last up to that 21 days without a problem. Now, the overall rating I'm gonna give the durability is 4.5 out of five. I believe this product worked great. It stood up against everything I put it through. It's waterproof like they say, and it can last, I believe, up to the 21 days like they say as well. So 4.5 out of five for durability. So now let's talk about and rate the ease of application. This is a very easy product to apply. You know, literally if you're using the booklet and you know the patches, all you gotta do is literally fill it in and that's it. But there are some things that you gotta watch out for. And that is, like I said, you gotta make sure that the area is shaved, clean of any debris so nothing seeps out. You can't move or walk around or kind of move that area too much because then this might lift off the skin and it may seep under. So you gotta watch that as well. And then the, also this product does stain very easily. I got it on my hand and it stained my hand for a bit. So I had some marks on my hand. Or so if you have clothing, make sure you do not get it on clothing because it will stain that as well. So all these things taken into consideration, I'm going to rate the ease of application about a 3.5, maybe 4 out of 5. So I'm going to give it like in the middle and say like 3.75. It's very easy, but the other things that you got to watch out for kind of make it lose a couple points in the end. Now price and value is a good topic I believe for this product especially. Just because if you go online and you look at the other products that they have, you know, the simple designs, it does come out to be pretty kind of expensive when you look at the price of paying for the freehand ink. The freehand ink has two products. It is a smaller bottle which is the half ounce and then the one ounce bottle and that is 24 and then 34. Now, when you look at that, it kind of sounds like a lot of money, but the amount of stuff you get out of this and the amount of times you can tattoo yourself beats all those other products. And you have the, also the choice to be creative as well. I had the, the one ounce bottle and I have so much. I think you have enough in that bottle to do your arm if you wanted to. And the half ounce, a little less, but you can still get a very, very good amount of tattoos out. So I definitely believe to using this product, you definitely get your bang for your buck. And I believe that one's gonna be about a 4.5 out of five. Now I'm gonna get into the overall review of this product. And I do believe that this product is great. It lasts a long time. It is very dark. And if you even if you leave it on for 20 minutes, it's still gonna last a long time. Again, my chest was left on for 20 minutes and it's still lasting on to day 17 now. The overall review of this product I will give is a four out of five. Just enjoy this product, have fun with it, be creative, do things that you don't think you might. I put one on my hand and I'm telling you guys right now, it forced me and it pushed me to now want to get a hand tattoo for a permanent kind of thing, just because I liked seeing something there so much. So don't be surprised if you see a hand tattoo in the near future. And that is all thanks to the Easy Ink Free Hand Ink for letting me be able to kind of be creative with it and just see something there that now I like. Don't forget that I have that giveaway going. Again, all you gotta do is like this video, make sure that you're subscribed, and then send the screenshot to my Instagram, and then also comment, let me know what you guys think of this product. Do you guys think it's worth it? Do you think it's better than the patchwork? Which one would you buy? Which one would you test out? But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching my video, like always. Till next time, Justin, out. Later, guys.